Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you the virtual filing cabinet page in the portal. So the virtual filing cabinet page is a page where our system creates folders for each one of your contacts and those folders are shared with that specific client. So the only way for the client to be able to log in and get access to the virtual filing cabinet page is if you give them portal access. Now, if you don't know how to give a client portal access, we do have a video on that, so you can find that in our playlist. But once that client has portal access, if they log into the portal and they go to the virtual filing cabinet page, they will see one folder, and that's the folder they have with you, and they can see all of the files and folders that you have created in that folder. So it is just a shared folder between you and the client. On your end, you see all of your client folders. On the client side, they do not see any of your other clients. They just see the one folder and that's the folder they have with you. So on this page, you can see I have my contacts here. So I have companies and personal tax clients. So our system creates folders for both personal tax and business contacts. So on this page, you can see there's a legend at the top. So it tells you which is linked to a company and which is linked to a personal tax client. So if you have someone who is both a business client and a personal tax client, um, our system will create a folder with the same client name in the virtual filing cabinet. But now you can see which folder is linked to them as a personal tax client and which folder is linked to them as a company. So you can see I have a lot of companies here and I have one personal tax client. And you can also see who are currently active. So if it is green, you'll know that they are currently active, which means they can log in, go to the virtual filing cabinet and see anything that you upload in there. I currently don't have any active clients, um, but I can still upload information into their folder. So if I click within a client folder, you can see that there is nothing here. I can either upload a file, so I can click the upload a file button, or I can click add a folder. Now I can also drag and drop directly onto this page. So if I would like to upload a document, I can just choose the document from my file explorer. I can drag and drop onto this page. It will let me know that I'm about to send the client a notification that I have uploaded a document. I click OK. So that client will receive an email notification and the file is now uploaded. So I can go back out. I can see that I now have one file within that client folder. The rest are empty. Um, and if that client has portal access, they will be able to log into the portal and see that file I have uploaded. The client also has the ability to log in, go to the virtual filing cabinet page and upload files or create folders that you can also see. So anything that you or the client do within that folder, uh, you can see. So I can also add a folder. So if I click add a folder, I can create a subfolder. Now I can also choose if I would like to create a subfolder that is visible to the client. So if I created a folder just called test and I have by default, should this folder be visible to the client, I have that checked off. That means when I create this subfolder, the client can then see the subfolder that I created. If I uncheck that and I add it, the client cannot see the subfolder that I created. So any information that you uh, upload outside of this subfolder, uh, the client can see. Any information that I upload within the subfolder, because I made it not visible to the client, they will not be able to see it. So you can see that the folder says folder created. And so now because this folder is not visible to the client, if I go within that subfolder, anything I upload here, the client cannot see. But if I go without, or if I go outside of that subfolder, the client can see anything I upload here because I'm still in their folder. I'm just not within that subfolder. So if I go back out, uh, there's also a settings button. So this settings, these, this is where you can choose uh, the settings for which the client receives the notifications when you upload documents. So the email file upload notifications, by default, it's set to ask first, which means when you upload a file within the client folder, it will ask you if you want to send them a notification. So when I uploaded that document, it let me know that if I would like to send a notification to the client, just click OK. Otherwise, click cancel. It still uploads the file. It just doesn't send them an email notification. You can choose never, which I don't recommend. That means that when you upload a document, the client will never receive a notification. Or I can choose automatically. That means when I upload a file, it automatically sends the client a notification. It doesn't ask you if you would like to send them one. 
Then you can also sort. So you can sort by alphabetical, size, or date. You can then choose your view settings. So right now I have it on list view, but I can choose grid view and I can see that it changed back there. And I can also choose to hide empty folders. So if I hide the empty folders, you can see that goes away because I do have a client folder where I uploaded a document. I can see just that one folder there, or I can uncheck that and I can see all the empty folders again. Click close. And then on the right hand side, we have a magnifying glass where you can search by anything on this page. So it expands the search bar where then you can search by any file or folder on this page. You can also see at the top your storage. So I have 10 gigabytes. I'm currently using no storage out of that 10 gigabytes, but it does let you know at the top how much storage you are using out of how much you have available. I hope this was helpful for you. Thanks for watching.